First end of the game between Russia and Denmark. It was uh, Victoria Moiseva with an opportunity to score as many as three with a split. She will come up a bit short and uh, get only the single, but Russia with the early lead, one nothing. And in the second end, stones were spread wide. And in the end, it was uh, Denise de Pont with uh, an open takeout for three. So they will have a 3 1 lead after two. And it was the same in the third and wide open hit for a multiple score. And um, Victoria Moiseva managed to stick around with her shooter to score two and tie the game after three. Just before that half time break, it was once again Denmark and uh, Denise Dupont with Hammer. Doesn't manage to hit the red one thin enough, but she will score a one. And in the second half of the game, we saw uh, Denise play this freeze that ended up on the side of uh, the red shot stone. <laughs> Russia threw theirs away, and after the umpire having <laughs> he had the second look, there was no way to get a measuring stick in there. It was a steal of one for Denmark, so they move up to 5-3. In the sixth end, Denise's final stone was to push uh, this yellow one in. And uh, after a hog line violation from Russia, that resulted in yet another steal. Seventh end. Moiseva pushes this yellow one out of the forefoot for a score of two to close the game up, six shots to five before the final and eighth end where um, Denmark had hammer and Denise had a very, very difficult in-off and she is so close to making it, but it is a steal for Russia. Game is tied after eight ends and there will be an extra where it was once again Denmark and Denise the point with the final stone. But she was very short on time, a bit stressed, gave it a little bit too much. She will roll too far. And uh, after a very exciting game, it's Russia that picks up the win. They Another win for Russia today. How do you feel about the game? Oh, we're really happy that we can get this, uh, this win because we were really down in this game. And then it was a comeback. We saw Denise Dupont only have two seconds left on the clock when she played her last shot. Do you think that uh, affected her throw? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Now, you played a couple of uh, games here to qualify in, here in the Ice Cube Centre. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's an advantage for you to play in, on, you know, in your home rink? Yeah, I think it's uh, an advantage because uh, all the spectators are cheering for us and it really helps. And especially the arena, yes. Now, is, uh, is it a dream for you to win gold in, in Russia, in front of the Russian crowd? Sure. <laughs> of course it is. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -hmm такой не очень хорошей серии вот это вот решение с камнем когда вы отказались играть и все-таки судьи присудили камень соперникам ну, конечно вернуться в такую игру тем более после такого э, момента вот как в пятом инде что судьи камень нельзя было померить нам было тяжело вернуться но я верил что мы сможем это сделать в принципе так и получилось Очень хорошо. Ну и, наверное, отметим еще ваши действия в восьмом и девятых эндах, когда, собственно, приходилось воровать, и это удалось. Ну и, конечно, наверное, хорошее начало было. Ну, мы очень собрались, конечно, в конце, и мы уже понимали, что отступать некуда. Остался всего один энд, в котором надо было украсть, и потом еще один. Хорошо, спасибо. Еще раз с победой. Спасибо.